after watching really big tech tubers like Linus Tech Tips promote the Anchor Liberty Air 2 Pros, I reached out to Anchor and was like, hey, can you guys send me a pair? And for the past four weeks, I've had them in my ears day and night. And at $130 US, is it worth the pickup? Let's get honest. Let's start with the sound quality. For 130 bucks, these are actually above average. They're not the best I've heard, but I will say that for this price point, it does a better job than most others I've heard in this price range, and it's because of a couple of things. One, these out of the box are tuned to appeal to the masses, and basically what most people like is a ton of bass, really nice warms for those like pop R&B songs, and then the highs, they don't, usually manufacturers don't like putting too much highs because that can be offensive. Your ears can get fatigued by that. That personally isn't my favorite signature. I like having present bass, very warm mids, and very crispy, crunchy highs. So that's me. There is a very comprehensive and very good equalizer built for this app, the app that goes with this phone. So you can tune it however you want. But again, out of the box, it's going to appeal to the masses. It's going to look basically like a straight line, like a negative slope. I, I think, I don't know, I don't know math. <laughs> so that's gonna be kind of what it looks like. Now, when it comes to the bass, this is actually a pretty technical pair of earbuds here. And what I mean by that is, a lot of these low priced earbuds, now these are not low priced by any means, but $130 for wireless earbuds is in the lower range. You know, AirPod Pros are like 200, Sennheiser Memment True Wireless like 300, and you know, those kinds of things, right? So this is definitely in the lower end. And yet this is still pretty darn technical when it comes to the bass. The bass in a nutshell is very tight, it's very clean, and it resolves very well. Most earbuds in that budget price range that are just trying to go for the masses, they have bass that's present, but it's very muddy, and it doesn't resolve, and it's more fun in one sense, because it just reverbs like crazy. It's like When you're trying to work out, that's what you want. You want that party vibe where you're in a room and the, the sound is just bouncing off the walls, right? This isn't like that. The bass is very present and the sub bass is there if you get a really good seal, but the bass is gonna resolve and the music is gonna continue. So in one sense, these are pretty technical buds when it comes to the bass. The mids are very silky smooth and warm. I love them, vocals sound so good on these. And again, the highs just aren't present. So let me go ahead and share what I found when listening to specific songs. Starting with September by Earth, Wind & Fire. This is not only a really, really fun track, it's one of my favorite songs of all time, but it's a really complex song because it starts very simple with a bass, boom, 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 and then every four measures, I think, it, another new instrument gets introduced. Then there's a, a, a drum that starts hitting, then there's block, boom, and then there's a whole band, and there's so much going on. It's extremely complex, and it's really difficult for a lot of audio devices to keep up and be able to separate and distinguish in this, all those sounds separately. Well, I don't know, I think I said separate too much. It, it does, they have a really tough time doing that. The Liberty Air 2 Pros did a really good job at holding its ground in terms of being able to distinguish all the sounds, and I think it has to do with that two driver system. Because you have two drivers handling different noises, I think I was able to distinguish the instruments a little bit better than on something like the OnePlus Buds that I've tested a while ago that have a single driver system. I will say that the Sennheisers though, these are the Momentum True Wireless 2s, even though they have a single driver system, they still do a better job at distinguishing sounds than the Liberty Air 2 Pros, but these are half the price as these, and it does a pretty phenomenal job. Where you do see the limit of the Liberty Air 2 Pros is in the soundstage. Now with any earbuds, earbuds are gonna be limited in their soundstage. And soundstage, if you don't know what it means, is how big does the sound feel? Like, does it feel like you're in an auditorium listening to a concert? Or does it sound like you are having a one-on-one -on -one intimate Con, like one-on-one -on -one intimate concert. And the and the Liberty Air 2 Pros definitely have a smaller sound stage than something like the Momentum True Wireless 2s. Again, brand new, these are more than double the price of these, although you can get these cheaper now. The Liberty Air 2 Pro sound stage, I would say is probably limited to here. Now you can imagine on a song like September when you have so much going on, the sound stage kind of cuts off here so it feels very cramped. Whereas the Momentum True Wireless 2s, for earbuds, for wireless earbuds, the soundstage is actually like up, up to here, which is phenomenal for earbuds, especially wireless earbuds. No, there's nothing like it. So that's Earth, Wind & Fire by September. The next track is Waltz for Debbie by Bill Evans and Cannonball Adderley. And I chose this song because it has the full range of music in a way that's fun, or at least in a track that I love. And in this song, you have everything. You've got the country bass boom, 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 going, and then you've got the mids with the saxophone going, and then you've got the highs with the hi-hats. 
and the piano. Dun, 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 and so you got the whole range of music, but stock, out of the box, these sound a little bit flat. And it's because while the contrabass sounds great, the saxophone sounds so good, the highs are just not present. If you go in the equalizer and you crack that up a little bit, I promise you that song just opens up and it sounds beautiful. It sounds amazing. The same limitation here though is again with that sound stage. When you listen to the song with headphones, when you listen to it with something like the Momentum True Wireless 2s, the sound stage is, on headphones is much wider, but on the Momentum True Wireless 2s, it sounds like it's about here. But on the Liberty Air 2 Pros, it sounds like you are watching them in like a six by six room, right? It sounds really cramped, really intimate. And sorry, don't get me wrong, intimacy is not bad. Like if you listen to Sam Smith or Adele and you listen, to, it sounds like they're serenading you. I mean, it's beautiful. It's to the point where like, if you really close your eyes and listen, you will probably tear up. Like, man, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. But if you want that wide sound, these aren't it. The next track is Still Dre by Dr. Dre and Snoop D O Double G. And this is touted to be one of the best mixed hip hop rap songs of all time or rap albums of all time. And the reason why is just listen to Still Dre. Like when they start rapping, their vocals are so ridiculously clean. It's it's mind boggling. The song starts with dun, 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 right? And on cheaper, untuned, messy earbuds that are granted they're more fun, that beginning, boom, 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 it doesn't sound clean. It sounds like the bass just never resolved. It's like, boom, 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 boom. Sorry, all right, no more Cookie Monster voice. But on these, that boom, 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 it resolves, it ends. And so you hear everything very clearly and it does a fantastic job at that. However, when the rappers start rapping, because the bass is tuned so high out of the box, their vocals get lost. I guarantee, try lowering that bass a little bit and listen to those vocals and listen to how clean they are. And it's awesome. But overall, does a fantastic job handling songs like rap and hip hop, for sure. Especially if you love bass. When it comes to lag when watching shows like Netflix or YouTube, I didn't notice anything. There was no Chinese dub effect here. But I will say in general, you don't wanna game with wireless earbuds or headphones if you're really serious about it because there is some delay when you play games. And that's just the case with every wireless audio device out there. I will say that the max volume on these was lower than what I've experienced on other buds. And it was to the point where I thought I was losing my hearing. Like I was like, oh man, I'm getting old. Now my use cases were really weird. Like I was brushing my teeth in the morning. I told you guys I had these in my ears day and night. I did it all for you guys. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like and tell me you guys appreciate me brushing my teeth with these. But um, so when I had the electric toothbrush going, I could, just couldn't hear what I was listening to. And so if you are someone who is listening to these in a noisy environment, even with a perfect seal, I couldn't hear that well. So if you guys are on doing daily commutes and really noisy areas or you fly a lot here in construction, these are not gonna be for you. Now they do have noise canceling, but more on that in a bit. So taking a look at the other features, what's unique about these buds at this price point is that it has active noise canceling and audio transparency. Now those are really big buzzwords. Those are big marketing words. Everybody wants to be active noise canceling these days. But I will say that both of those modes on this these pair of earbuds is just, they're broken. They don't work and they're not good. The Audio transparency is one of my favorite features on earbuds and headphones. I love the fact that I don't have to take them out in order to talk to somebody. Now, if music is playing, you can't hear somebody. So you have to pause them. But listening to somebody talk to you is made like 50% easier on most of these ear earbuds that I've tried. On these, you get none of the upside, but all of the downside. So the upside would be that I can hear you if you're talking to me and I have them on. I couldn't hear my wife, I couldn't hear my kids with both of the earbuds on with audio transparency mode on, but it has all the drawbacks too because if you have audio transparency on and you're cooking and the oil pops in the frying pan or something metal hits the ground, cling like that, your ears will die. Like it hurts so much because it's amplifying those sounds and those are the downsides. But the upside is I can hear somebody when I'm talking to them. These have none of the upsides and all the downsides. So audio transparency just doesn't work. As for active noise canceling, <laughs> it sounds different. Like, like, sure, music sounds different, but it's not canceling anything, in my opinion. It just sounds, the audio just sounds different. I think both of those modes are not great on these earbuds, and it's not worth the premium, in my humble opinion, for that. What it does have, though, that's kind of unique at this price point is wireless charging. And at this size, it's really cool. You just put it down on a wireless charger, and it just goes. It's really nice to have. 
But what it doesn't have, which is very unusual at the $130 price point, is any kind of water resistance, or at least any certification for water resistance. It could be resistant to water and dust, but they didn't pay the money to get the certification. Fit is always going to be subjective, but I have to say it's the first time that I tried earbuds that hurt me, like legitimately hurt me. Now again, I know that I had these on for a ridiculous amount of time, and you might think that that's why you're feeling pain. Of course you're gonna feel pain. Well, here's the thing, like I had the Momentum True Wireless 2s on for just the same amount of time before I reviewed them, and though they hurt at first on kind of the inner ear cartilage, that pain went away after a while. On these, the pain just got worse and worse and worse on that bottom cartilage piece here that the, the head kind of sits on before it gets that little dangle looking, you know, earring looking thing. And yeah, it's the first time that I experienced that pain, especially, and I've tried other dangle designs before. So unfortunately, because of that, I can't use these as a daily driver. It just, it just hurt too much. I will say that I didn't love the earring design anyway. And that's because I listen to these when I wake up, I'm listening to something when I brush my teeth, when I wash up and the little dangling design, it gets caught everywhere, man. Like you can't wash your face because the, the thing is there and it pop, you flick it out by accident. You can't take your shirt off because it gets caught in your shirt. I just, I really don't like that ear design. I will say that it helps with mic quality, but again, it's not worth the trade-off for me. Speaking of mic quality, this is what the mic sounds like with and without noise in the background. This is what the mic sounds like as I'm walking around inside of my basement. There is no noise in the background for this test. This is what the audio sounds like on the Liberty Air 2 Pros when there's a little bit of music in the background. I do like the fact that these guys include a ton of different ear tips for you. Like most brands give you like three different option alternatives. They give you like eight. It's ridiculous. They give you every in-between size and the massive size, which I appreciate because I have giant ear canals. Pairing these buds is amazing. Like so amazing. It pairs just like anything else. You hold the button down, it shows up, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the time it takes from you to open this up, pull it out and put it in your ear. I'm connected. Like I'm connected, it's amazing. It's so fast and here's the best part. It's that fast across platforms. So it happens that fast on my iPad. It happens that fast on my Android phone. It happens that fast on my Windows device. Like it is so, so fast and I love that about this. If you're taking a phone call but you can't hear them and you wanna pick up earbuds, you can say, give me a second, pull it out and you're good to go. Like it's that quick. I will say that the downside of this, the downside of the pairing experience is that it cannot be paired to multiple buds, which is a pretty uncommon feature anyway. But in order to pair these, you have to have the case with you and then you gotta hold the button and then it's gotta go into pairing mode and then you have to switch the device. Like you can't just, the Sennheiser just released an update, which I love, which is that even though it can't be paired to multiple devices, if I pick up, let's say it's paired to my iPad and I wanna put it with my phone, I can go to my phone, I can find the, the buds because I've already paired it once and I can click it and it'll automatically unpair and go into here. I don't have to put these manually into pairing mode. With the anchors, you have to do that. You can use these buds individually, which is really awesome. You can have one in the case, one outside, and then put that other one in, take the other one out, and it's awesome. You basically have unlimited battery life. But I will say that when I use them individually, I just got random pauses, and I don't know why. And I, it, it happened, I was watching WandaVision on Disney Plus on my iPad, and at one point, it was just pausing every six seconds, and I was like, what is going on? Thankfully, it's because the pairing speed is so fast, I just put it in, took it right back out, and I was good to go. But it's just a hiccup I noticed. A huge con for me and what makes this a deal breaker for me personally is the lack of control built into the buds themselves. Now I've been about this all the time with wireless earbuds where they give you wireless earbuds but in reality you have an invisible tether because you can't do something simple like control the volume without your phone, without your iPad, without the device and that to me is so stupid. It's terrible design. Now. The Liberty Air 2 Pros allow you to remap buttons and all that good stuff, but the thing is each butt only gets two buttons, but quote unquote buttons. You can double tap or you can tap and hold. Now that would be okay if these were basic earbuds, but they're not. They give you active noise canceling and they give you audio transparency. How are you supposed to activate those and do things like play pause, volume up, volume down, go back, go forward. How can you do all that with just four total controls? That to me makes no sense and again makes this basically an invisible tether to your phone. I wish at least it would have given you three on each. Single tap, double tap, tap and hold. Unfortunately that's just not the case here and to me that's really 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 frustrating. They had so much right about this but that I think was a really poor choice. So my overall thoughts. 
Are they worth it for $130 US? I would say if they were 80 bucks, I would say go, go get these. They're awesome, they sound good, they have a lot of nice little things built into it. The equalizer is fantastic, but I wouldn't pay 130. And the reason why is because for that $50, all those additional functions are broken. Like audio transparency doesn't work, noise canceling doesn't work, they're kind of tethered to your phone, which you kind of expect, but a lot of other earbuds at $80 do that too, and they sound worse. So because of that, I'd say if you ever see these on sale for like $80 to $100, totally worth the pickup. They have above average sound, but I don't know, man, $130 to pay for features that don't work, that doesn't sit right with me. Anyways, guys, that's all for this video. If you liked it, of course, give it a thumbs up, sub, do all that stuff, help promote this video and the YouTube algorithm. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. And until next time, stay safe. And as always, stay honest.